looking to build a compact, powerful and whisper quiet home lab? Today I'm unboxing and assembling the Deskpire RackMate T0, a 10 inch rack mount case that just might be the cleanest way to organize your mini PC cluster. I'll take you through the entire assembly process and show you how it all fits together. Let's get into it! Inside the box, right on top, we are greeted with the instruction manual, super clean presentation and everything is well layered. First up, a side panel and the handles. Beneath that layer, there is a small toolbox, two screwdrivers and the top raised pieces. Next come the acrylic top cover, it's nicely protected so there's no scratches. Then we've got the other side panel and a full set of screws. At the very bottom, we find the front 1U filler panel and the base plate. Oh, and sneaky detail, underneath the tool set, there's a shelf tucked away. I almost missed that. The instructions are clear, with each step laid out in detail. And on the final page, a nice overview of the T0, T1 and T2 models. Also a shout out to Deskpy for including that thank you page and I'd like to return the favor. Thanks to this Pi for sending me this RackMate T0 completely for free. If you're interested in grabbing one yourself, I've dropped the link to their store in the description. Alright, let's get this build going. Since the assembly takes a bit of time, I figured this would be the perfect moment to share a bit of backstory about my home lab setup and why I'm excited to build it into this rack. One thing I noticed while researching this rack, there aren't many full assembly videos out there for the RackMate T0, so I thought, why not include it here? That way, if you're thinking about picking one up, you'll know exactly what to expect. Let's rewind a bit. My home lab journey started pretty modestly, just a basic desktop tower, running a few virtual machines for testing, maybe some media services, and some light automation. But as I got more into it, use cases started piling up. File hosting, docker containers, home assistant, testing Linux distros, running VMs in the background. And before I knew it, that one desktop wasn't cutting it anymore. Eventually, I upgraded to an old 2U server chassis, a freebie from someone cleaning out their office. It had hot swap base, dual CPUs and fans loud enough to wake the neighbors. It was cool for a while, but also way too power hungry and way too big. That's when I started rethinking the whole approach. I wanted something compact, efficient and quiet, but still powerful enough to handle all my projects. That led me to the HP ProDesk 600 G4 Minis. And let me tell you, these little machines pack a punch. I've got three of them in this setup. Each one has an ultra efficient Intel i3 8100T, a whopping 32GB of RAM, 2.5GB networking and 2TB of NVMe storage. Thanks to Proxmox, I can run multiple VMs and containers across the cluster, with Ceph handling distributed storage is fast, redundant and super flexible. The 2.5GB networking ties it all together nicely, and surprisingly, the whole thing only sips power compared to the traditional server hardware. This RackMate T0 is going to bring it all together. A clean 4U enclosure to mount everything, keep it organized and make it look and feel like a real rack based home lab setup. And the best part? It's whisper quiet. So whether it ends up in my home office or tucked away in the utility closet, it'll run 24 7 without making a sound. Maybe it's a home lab, maybe it's a tiny portable data center. Either way, I'm really curious to see just how far I can push this little cluster. With the RackMate T0 fully assembled, here's a look at the final result. It is clean, compact and also ready to go. Now let's add a nice upgrade. This brand new 10 inch PDU. It is perfect for small racks like this one. I'll be mounting it at the bottom of the rack. Notice the little gap underneath once it's mounted? That's intentional and in just a bit I'll show you how that space becomes a smart spot to neatly tuck away your power cable. 
Next up is the shelf I found hidden underneath the tool set earlier. It screws in easily using the front rails, no need for cage nuts. Just the included screws from the toolkit. For demonstration, I'm also adding the blank front panel. Again, no cage nuts needed, just a screwdriver and the parts provided in the box. I'll be removing this later though, because this space is reserved for the three HP ProDesk minis. They're going in here soon to complete the build. Let's take a look at the finished build. Here is the full setup. Power and networking all need to be tucked inside the rack. All that's left is to plug in the PDU power cord. From the front, it's a clean and minimal look. You can't even see the 2.5 gigabit network switch hiding inside. Everything's compact and out of sight. Now just for comparison, here's what my utility closet used to look like. Yeah, a bit chaotic. Next, I moved the mini PCs into an IKEA Kallax unit. Yep, a classic r slash IKEA hack move. It's not bad, but a little too open for my taste. Here's how the Rackmate T0 looks like inside the Kallax. It's super clean, easy to access, and honestly, kind of cool to show off. And finally, here it is, back in the utility closet. Tidy, compact, and whisper quiet. So, what would you do in my case? Would you leave it proudly on display in your home office, inside the Galax, or tuck it away in the closet for that ultra minimalistic look? The system barely makes a sound and doesn't get out, so it feels almost like a shame to hide it away. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you do. Before we wrap up, a huge thank you to all of my YouTube members. Your support makes videos like this possible. If you like what you've seen, consider hitting the like button subscribing for more home lab content or even joining as a member to support the channel and get early access and behind the scenes updates i'm designing custom 3d printed rack mounts for these mini pcs if that sounds interesting make sure to subscribe or follow for updates